Well, you may have heard that February is Heart Health Month, but it is also Sweet Potato Month. I bet you didn't know that. This morning, we are cooking a great dish that features sweet potatoes, and it just happens to be heart healthy. Joining us this morning is nutritionist Dr. Valana Thompson. And uh, it smells good already, doctor. It is a pleasure to meet you. Good morning. Thanks good for being morning. here. Good morning. Thank you. The first question I have, and I hate to sound ignorant, is there a difference between yams and sweet potatoes? There absolutely is a difference between yams and sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, which we know and love, yes. the orange yes. sweet potato, whereas a yam, we typically do not grow yams in the United States. They're okay. grown in places like Africa. The meat is a white, starchy meat, and the skin, the outside skin, is really dark brown, whereas the sweet potato we know and love is orange, full of beta carotene. The skin is orange as well. Okay, so sweet potatoes are definitely better. You don't want a bunch of starch in your diet, obviously. Absolutely. So the dish that we are making today, I got to say, and I looked at the ingredients in my household. This would be <laughs> outside of the box, and this is a great way to enjoy sweet potatoes in a different way other than the way many of us are used to, like sweet potato pies or, of that nature. Absolutely. We usually think of candy yams and yes. sweet potato pie, but sweet potatoes is so wonderful for the body. It has so many nutrients, so many heart-healthy nutrients, and then these are ingredients that we use. You eat bell peppers, you eat tomatoes, so they're, they're not ingredients that anybody is foreign to. Garlic, garlic is wonderful for the yes. heart, so we start out with the garlic, and we're adding shredded sweet potatoes. Okay. Uh, the most difficult thing is, is doing the chopping and the shredding, actually, okay. really. The sweet potatoes, the tomatoes, the bell pepper, and those are going to saute. So we're making uh, sweet potato and red pepper pasta. Yes. Um, when I first looked at the sweet potatoes, I thought those were carrots. So you're just shredding those very finely and then adding those in with your garlic and sauteing. Exactly, exactly. And once those have sauteed about five minutes or so, you're going to cover it and let it set while you come over to your already prepared angel hair pasta okay. and you add your herbs. Okay. So we've got some parsley that we're adding. We have lemon juice. Okay. Makes it a little flavorful. And then we have um, what I love to use is smoked um, sea salt. Okay. Okay, a little smoked sea salt, a, a little, little smoky flavor. Yes, a little basil. Okay. About a teaspoon or so. Okay. And goat cheese. Now, the smoked sea salt, I don't know if I've ever used that or even heard of that. Where do you get that? What, what is that? Um, well, you can get it at whole, places like Whole Foods. Um, actually, some of the Kroger's, you know, your, okay. your ma mainstream stores are starting to carry a lot more of the herbs and spices that we want people to start using. S why, why smoke sea salt? Um, well, s the smokiness gives it a flavor. Okay. The sea salt is a better uh, salt to use if you're going to use salt as opposed to iodine salt. The sea salt is more nutritious for you. Okay, all right. And then a little goat cheese. Love uh, goat cheese. Yeah. And goat cheese is much better for you than some of the other cheeses in terms of the fats. Okay. Okay. And you just toss that a little bit. Now, you've written a book that has uh, a, a lot of these recipes that, again, these are foods that we enjoy but may not necessarily prepare in this way, and this is healthier than the way we may be eating them currently. Exactly, exactly. Using less oils, less fats, but then you are learning how to prepare your food in a way that you actually taste the food and you are going to benefit from the nutrients in the food. And I always say, you know, eat like a rainbow. Okay. So you got a lot of colors. So if you look at your plate and you don't have too many colors, then you're probably going to have, you're probably taking in less nutrients. So you want to cook with color. Cook with color. What prompted you to write this book? Well, as a longtime health promotion person, I was on the physical fitness side, and I knew that people were challenged to do the food side. That's half the battle, if not yes, more. Yes, yes. And, and we want people to decrease the amount of meat. So I wanted people to know that you can eat healthy, and it contains the flavor, and it's not very difficult to do. Which is what keeps a lot of folks myself included from eating a more healthy diet is because there's this perception that it's rocket science. It's going to be so difficult that it's easier to just, you know, eat a burger or something like that. Exactly. Part of it is just setting your kitchen up to cook in this way. So you may have to 
um, take your time and buy a few toys. I like okay. to call them toys so that they are handy there for you. If they're tucked away, then you're like, oh, I got to go. I got to pull this out. Yeah. But if you set your kitchen up so that you're already ready to cook in that manner. And this is very good. Obviously, we had some prepared already to finish product. Very tasty. Doctor, it is a pleasure to meet with you and talk with you. you. We have more information on this recipe on our website, WXYZ.com. Just click on the Scene on 7 section.